Hello Valley, Pastor Dave here on a chilly Monday, October the 26th. What's up with all this white stuff on the ground? Oh my goodness, uh, kind of a reality check for us that we do in fact live in Minnesota and things can happen sooner than they're supposed to. It's probably to make up for the early snow this year, uh, it'll stick around late in the spring. That's usually how Minnesota works out. Anyway, I don't mind the snow. I don't mind uh, um, uh, winter. Uh, we always make it, and there is a certain beauty about it. Uh, and it's been a good wake up to me, that uh, a reminder that, hey, the holidays are just around the corner. Uh, it won't be long, and Thanksgiving will be here. You're probably like uh, uh, Sherry and I. We're trying to figure out how, what does the Thanksgiving gathering look like this year. We normally get together with all our kids and grandkids, but this year we're trying to figure out is there a place to do that safely or maybe we should uh, share recipes and do a Zoom Thanksgiving together. I don't know what the plan will be, but we'll come up with something and We'll try to make some lemonade out of the lemons. We'll try to take something that's hard and make it into something good and memorable. I'm sure you and your family will do the same. Uh, I also think about how is this going to work for us with our uh, traditional Christmas programs and things like that at church. And so uh, I'm already working on a plan to uh, put together a nice video Christmas program for our annual Christmas party, and uh, also to do something really lovely for our Christmas Eve service. And I think what we'll do is we'll do something, uh, a kind of a combination of uh, have it ready that it can be video, but also maybe do some watch parties and have a watch party at the church building. And, and the main thing I want to say is I want to include as many of you into those programs as possible. So Look for some information from me. Look for some contacts from me. Maybe uh, you'd really like to be in that, and uh, you can just reach out to me too. But we're going to be doing some things like songs, and then uh, uh, maybe have some kids read the the traditional Christmas stories, and and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll even get some recipes and make some cookies at somebody's house. But we're going to be putting together a really nice program. So rest assured. Uh, Christmas will be special. Valley Christmas will be special this year. So look for more on that soon. You know, uh, a lot of us are doing the Valley Bible reading plan. And uh, right now we're in the Gospel of John. And, and probably my favorite Christmas verse of all time is in John chapter 1, verse 14. It says this, The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The Word became flesh. God became one of us. Emmanuel, God with us. You know, we've been through a lot this year, but God has been with us the whole time. And Christmas is a wonderful time to celebrate God's presence. It's a wonderful time to remember how Jesus emptied himself for us and became one of us so that he could open the door for all of us to be made right with God again. Well, I hope you're thinking of ways to stay involved. It was so great to see so many of you at church uh, yesterday, and uh, I'm trusting that many, many of you were logging on and watching online. Uh, I can't say thank you enough to uh, the many people who help with the tech, who help with the uh, worship team, uh, um, all the staff at Valley, uh, so many people working so hard, and of course, especially a wonderful thank you to Pastor Brad, who I don't know if you've noticed, but he's really been preaching some solid, inspirational, challenging sermons uh, in recent weeks. So thank you, Brad. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, staff. Thank you, church, for staying connected, for being the church, for staying involved, 
Uh, I'm looking forward to some Bible studies tonight. I'll have my Useful Breath Bible Reading Group at 7. I'll have Around the Word at 8. I think you know about a lot of other things going on. Uh, tomorrow night, Flourish will be meeting. We've got Wednesday night prayer time. We've got family table time on Wednesday. The Moth Brothers, the Soul Sisters on Thursday morning. Uh, all kinds of ways to get involved. Uh, young guys, uh, I hope you're checking out Timothy Group with Pastor Brad and Andrew Langbean. I know they're trying to get some uh, get that weekly meeting up to uh, speed. So uh, if you're one of the young men of our church, please uh, contact Pastor Brad and become part of Timothy Group on Thursdays. Uh, maybe uh, it's a good time for us to uh, put out the word to you that if you would like to have a pastoral visit or need some pastoral care or just need to talk to somebody about something, uh, please uh feel free to reach out. You can send me uh, a note anytime at dburkum, D-B-U-R-K-U-M, at valleycc.org. You can go to the website, click the contact button. Everybody on our staff is available. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have a special need or just, just want to uh, uh, give us a poke and say, hey, it's been too long. I want to catch up. I want to uh, stay connected. Don't hesitate to do that. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, let me pray for you and pray for your week. God, thank you for all of our uh, Valley brothers and sisters, for uh, all the kids, all the youth, uh, all the senior citizens, all, all the families, everybody. Uh, God, we need your help so much. And right now in challenging days, uh, in challenging times, uh, we are so grateful to know that you are with us and that you will bring us safely through. So help us now with the rest of our Monday, guide us through the week, and Father, we look forward to celebrating and worshiping and learning and growing in the days and weeks ahead. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, friends, the Lord be with you. Be the church. God bless.